in the previous video we saw the conversions taking place um, when it comes to the points that uh, the nodes are able to gather in every iteration so we saw that uh, the points are converging now the next step is how we can rank the nodes based on the points that they have gathered now let's create a function to uh, to sort the uh, the nodes based on points so let me create get nodes sorted uh, by points i'm going to pass the points list and it should return me uh, uh, the list of nodes i'm sorry i'm sorry okay so i'll write node sorted by points is equal to uh, get node sorted by points which is a function which i'm going to create and then uh, let me print the nodes that we will be getting so okay we will just be printing the nodes that we are getting uh i i should print the, the initial points as well so that we know how the points are changing so i'm printing the initial points here okay uh, getting back to the function that we have to create uh, get nodes sorted by points let's create this function here um, sorry so okay okay now what uh, should this function do this function has as an input a list which is points uh, which is a list having the points for every node and what should this function do this function should return a list of the nodes uh, sorted by their points now what are the nodes uh, how are the nodes labeled the nodes are basically from as you can see here from 0 to 9 right that's how the nodes are numbered so we can just uh, simply get the index of the nodes uh, from this points list so basically what we have to do is we have to sort uh, the the index of uh, the values which are there in the points right uh, we can use again several methods for that uh, one method which might be very quick is uh, we can make use of uh, the package numpy so numpy has a function arg sort which basically returns the index uh, the indices sorted by the values of a list okay so we're going to use that function arg sort uh, that function is there in numpy so let me in import that package so i'll write import numpy as np okay okay so uh the input to where were we um yeah here so the input to that uh, function is basically an array which is a numpy array and here as an input we have a points uh, which is a list so we have to convert that list into a numpy array now how do we do that so i'll write points array is equal to np numpy dot array so this array is the function which converts a list into a numpy array okay now points array is a numpy array and we can apply the function arg sort on it and what does that function do it returns the indices sorted by the values of the list so I write np numpy dot arg sort points array okay what does it return it returns the indices uh, so indices basically are the nodes in our case so maybe i can write nodes uh, sorted by points equal to this thing okay now one thing that has to be noted is by default arg sort sorts in the ascending order right and which order do we want we want descending order that is the node which has high points should be the first to be ranked okay so a uh, simple thing that we can do here just put a minus here by putting a minus all the values are convert converted to negative and the ordering that we will be getting will be negative so as simple as that we can uh, we can work with that simple method so this no uh, node sorted by points is going to have the nodes um, uh, sorted by um, of course the points in descending order right so the first value will be uh, the node which is having highest uh, ranking and hence the highest page rank okay let's return this nodes sorted by points this should work 
so let's go back to main and let's see is anything pending so we had already called this function and we had already printed the value so let's see wh whether this function works fine or not okay so let's call uh, this function let's let's see how the the code works so let me execute this okay so these are the initial points i'm sorry these are the initial points 100 each as uh, as we assigned initially and then we started the iterations after the first iteration as you can see the first node which was having 100 points is now having 120 points and second node uh, the points for second node have reduced and so on so uh, so that that keeps changing this is the scenario after first iteration i press enter and this is this the scenario after second iteration so the points have uh, become 150 for the first node i keep on pressing enter and i keep on seeing the values changing as you can see so let's concentrate on the first node as of now so 224 i keep pressing enter because it's keeping on changing okay it's 2 219 and only the decimal values are changing um okay let's let's look at any other uh, node if the values are changing drastically uh, so if the values are not at all changing will stop of course if the ch values are changing slightly we can either keep going on and on or we can stop there so um, that that should be enough uh, and that's what i mean to say let's see if any of the values changing i'm keeping on pressing enter and the values are only slightly changing so i think i can stop at any moment let me press hash here so our loop stops okay this function is working fine so we're getting the nodes sorted by points uh, these are the 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 sorted nodes that we are getting basically these are the uh, rankings this this is the ranking of the nodes so the node 0 is having the highest page rank node 2 is on the second number and so on so this is the ranking that we obtained now let's see whether this ranking is correct or not as per the page rank uh, method that is uh, there in network x okay so let's get back uh, get to the last step which is compare the ranks thus obtained the ranks obtained with the inbuilt page rank method now let me tell you there is an inbuilt function which we can use to compute the page rank values uh, for the nodes for a given graph we have ourselves implemented it over here uh, there are several other methods as well let me tell you uh, we have implemented one of the methods which is using uh, the distribution of the points we might look at other methods as well maybe in the subsequent videos let's uh, check the ranking that we obtained from page rank so the function is nx dot page rank and we'll pass the graph here okay let me tell you what it returns it basically returns a dictionary where the keys are the nodes and the values are the page ranks of the nodes so basically it doesn't tell the ranking of the nodes it tells us the page ranks page rank values of each node so we would have to rank them by ourselves so how can we do that let me sort uh, this dictionary okay we cannot sort the dictionary uh, because the dictionary doesn't contain any sorting order so we can um, we can create a list of the tuples from the dictionary as we have been doing in the previous videos as well so how can we do that let's see uh, so this is going to be a list of the sorted tuples based on the values so the function that we can use is sorted i write pr dot items okay and the same old method that we use key is equal to lambda. Uh, how can how do we want to uh, sort it we want to sort it based on the value which is the the second thing in the tuple which is x1 so we'll write x colon x1 and by default it is it is uh, uh, ascending right and we want it to be descending so we'll write reverse is equal to true okay so pr sorted is a list of the the tuples okay what do we want we want the nodes we want the nodes sorted uh, by the the page rank value only so maybe what we can do is we can only print the the first value from each tuple so right for i in pr sorted okay i'm going to only print the first value for every i okay okay so 
uh, I want all the values in the same line so I put a comma here okay let's check the working of the code so basically what we have to check is the the ranking that we were getting by our method and the ranking that we are getting by this method are the same or not okay let's check uh, all right so these are the initial values 100 each and after first iteration these are the values that we get uh, we got 50 points for the first node now i'm pressing enter and okay the values are changing okay so the values are changing let's the first node has uh, one not six only the decimal values are changing and let's check the second one second one is also uh, slightly changing third fourth i think all the nodes are only slightly changing so we can stop at this moment or maybe you can go ahead a little more okay i'm just keeping on pressing enter uh it's just uh, changing very slightly uh it might take a number of iterations to actually stop so maybe we can press hash and stop at this point okay um yeah this is something that i want to tell you uh so this is the first thing that you can see is the ranking that we got by our method okay and the second uh, row is the values that we got by the page rank method from network x now let's compare 9435 is correct after that 0, 06 uh, 1278 so we can we see some changes here this is what i wanted to show you uh, why these changes are coming and how we can handle that okay so um okay can you imagine what what can happen if there is a node which has no outlink so as we also implemented if a node has no outlink this node doesn't distribute its points okay so in every iteration what happens it keeps on changing it keeps on getting points okay it keeps on getting points from other nodes and it never distributes its own points so what happens is that the point sync happens sync basically uh, uh, all the points are getting accumulated at uh, one node or a set of nodes so this example i gave for one node it may also happen that in the graph that we generated there are a bunch of nodes which are uh, not not distributing any points out, outside okay so basically uh, there is a link from one node to the other and there's a link from second node to the first node but there is no link outside so the, these two nodes will keep accumulating all the points and that's how the the ranking that we will get will not be accurate so for that we need to take some measures we have to handle that case uh, the network x uh, function is basically handling those cases whereas our uh, function is not handling those cases that is why we are getting these uh, differences in the ranking uh, now we are going to handle these cases uh, let me tell you it won't happen in all the cases because in all the cases your graph might not be having such uh, uh, sinks right um, let's check one more example if uh, we are getting the same so uh, let's check for the conversions first again the values are keeping changing okay now i'm pressing enter and it's not going ahead basically uh, the values are not at all changing so it's completely stopped there's no change now i'm keeping on pressing enter so we can just press hash let's see the ranking that we're getting okay we are getting five seven nine eight four six zero three one two okay that's again another thing that i want to show so this might be a graph where there is no such problem as i just explained to you there is no sync okay there is no one node or a set of nodes which are keeping on accumulating all the points and they're not distributing that case is not here and that is why we're getting the same thing here okay uh, so our method is accurate just in case there is no sync there in the graph okay let me just uh, take another case and and i'm sure there'll be some problem here i actually want some problem to happen so that in the next video we can cover that uh, because we are going to handle such cases okay i'm again pressing the enter and it's not going ahead it just stopped so eight seven six two one oh yeah we two one yeah we got the difference nice so two nine one and two one nine <clears throat> so we got a difference uh right let me tell you one more thing sometimes uh there might be a slight uh uh, you know variation for another reason as well and that another reason could be that 
two nodes are having exactly same page rank values right so in that case your method can rank them in a different order and the page rank uh, method from network x for example can rank them in a different order so that sort of uh, difference can happen even if your method is completely working fine and taking care of the sync cases as well so that you can just ignore um, but as of now we know that our code is not taking care of the the sync cases so we need to do that okay so let's get back to our code and in the next video we will be handling that case